Hi, welcome to SOLIDWORKS 2016 video tutorial. I want to do the beehive exercise now in SOLIDWORKS. Slightly different. I use the solid instead of a surface loft, but anyway, easy to do. So let's have fun with SOLIDWORKS. So let's start with a sketch and maybe on that plane to so make it visible. Okay, sketch on the top plane, one circle, another circle, diameter 14, no, 400 and 200, and 200, line which goes from there to the center and right there. Let's trim and add an angle between the front plane and the, this one. This should be 5 and the total angle should be 10. These two lines could be for construction only. And I want to use some points. So one point right there, one there, right there, and another one over the here. Leave that sketch. I need two extrudes, surface extrudes. So make it with this one, make it mid-plane, let's say 50, confirm and another one with a now invisible sketch, now visible, with this one, and again mid-plane, and again 50. Okay, I need to offset surfaces to go for the offset surface uh, in the other direction and not 10 but 5 millimeter confirm and another one with this one I know five in that direction would be okay. Let's hide this one and that one. And now, yeah, I could hide these two as well for a moment. I need two planes. So go for plane with a reference, not to the face, reference to the right plane and through that point. Confirm. Deselect everything and again another plane parallel to that right plane and through this point and confirm. Now let's hide that one. And go to this plane, plane 2, make a sketch, look normal to the sketch plane, and that would be a hexagon, which is centered on that point, maybe like this. And then add one constraint, that point should be right on that midpoint coincident. Okay. Leave that sketch. Hide that plane. Make another sketch on this plane. Look normal to that plane. And draw sort of a hexagon. 
which starts right here, goes over there, down to that point, up, up, and back again. Now align these two points, that one, and this one, horizontal, this one and that one, horizontal, this one, that one, this one, that one, and then put this point onto that midpoint coincident and it seems it's sort of symmetric and I'm done. Leave that sketch. Now let's make a loft. Lofted for space from this sketch to that sketch. Confirm. Then I want to cut that solid with a surface. Go to with these two surfaces. So make them visible just for convenience. Now let's go to Insert Features. No, cut. Cut with surface. I want to cut with this surface in that direction, that's okay. And another cut surface with that surface in the other direction, so switch it around and confirm. Now I could hide these. And hide that sketch as well. And that plane as well. Now let's shell this solid. So go for shell. This face should be removed. That face should be removed. Parameter 0 0.1. Confirm. Now I need an axis for my circular pattern. I will go and make an axis with two planes. And that would be the front and the right plane. And confirm. So I could move these up. Let's move this over here. And even before that, right there. No, it doesn't go before. Not really. Okay. And the axis as well. that down below. Yeah. Just to keep it in order. Okay, let's go for a circular pattern. I want that axis. I want 36 instances equals spacing 360 degrees and I want to use bodies. That body and confirm. Now I want to un unite those 36 bodies. So go for Combine, Add, and just select them all, and Confirm. Very nice. Now I need a copy, which I will move, and therefore I would need a distance. So go for Evaluate, Measure, Project it to one plane, to the right plane. And then go for this point down below right here and the other one would be right there. And you got all the dimensions and that would be 30.19. So 
19. Go to Insert, Feature, Move Copy, that body of course. And I want to make a translation and I need a copy. And that would be along the Y axis. And that would be 30.19 millimeters. And confirm. Then another move copy, but no copy. And I want to let's take a look on my solids. I want to copy the body move. That's the upper one. So I want not to copy but to move this one and I want to rotate it and I want to rotate it around the y-axis by 5 degrees and confirm looks pretty good now let's make another combine features combine those two bodies confirm and now I could do a rectangular pattern with that body. So go to linear pattern. I want to pattern body. That body. Direction would be along that axis. And the distance would be 2 times 30.19. And 3 instances and confirm. Now combine these three, one, two, three. And I'm done. So if you liked it, please give it a like. Leave a comment. If you want to see more, give it a like. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please subscribe to my Facebook cat fan page. Would be very, very nice of you. I want to get more likes and subscriptions on Facebook as well. Thanks for watching. See you to the next one. Bye bye.